Welcome to the Outer Wilds Any% Percent Beginner Tutorial. Before we get into the game, we should go over a few resources that you might want to have. First, you should get LiveSplit. LiveSplit is a program that most beginners use to time their runs, and has many features that make timing easier. The second program that you should get is OBS. OBS is a recording software that many people use to record their speedruns. The third thing I recommend having is an account on speedrun.com. It's a leaderboard website that speedrunners use to submit their runs to. And the last thing you're going to want to do is join the Outer Wilds speedrunning Discord. This is the perfect place to get help, ask questions, and interact with the Outer Wilds speedrunning community. Links to all these resources will be in the description down below. Now, let's get into the game. So, we're in the game now, and before we can start running, we have to change some controls. So we're going to go into input in the options menu, click on rebind controls, and come down to where you see retrieve scout. Now, I have it set to my left mouse button, and you need to change it to any other button besides its default button, because we're going to need it for a trick called scout boosting later in the run. And it's much faster and much easier to do if you don't have to hold down to retrieve the scout. So you can save that. I just discarded it. And let's hop into a run. So timing for the run starts here. We press E to wake up. And there's a little animation of us opening our eyes. And now we got to walk over here and do the first trick in the game called branch skip. Now branch skip uses the geometry in this wall and the geometry of this branch to skip a whole walking section where you have to go to the right over there walk around through town and stuff. So we're gonna jump here and get kind of caught here and aim for where my crosshair is right here and jump into that part of the wall. Now aim for sort of the higher middle portion of this branch and jump on here. And now you jump up this wall. And if I were first starting out, I'd say the safer option is always just to jump between these two trees and then continue along this wall. Or the second option after uh, you put a little bit more practice into this is going here and jumping up here. Now this, that second uh, option I showed you is faster, but it's a little bit more risky. So once you've done that, you're gonna wanna continue across here and we're just gonna walk up this path. And that's pretty much anything major right now. So yeah, we're just kind of walking up this path here and see over there where my crosshair is, that is the path you would have had to take had you not done branch skip. It saves so much time and it's so easy. And so we're gonna be coming into the observatory now to grab the launch kits. Now this is all normal part of the game. And yes, yeah, so we're gonna talk to him. You just spam E. It's really just, yeah, just spamming E and stuff. Just make sure you don't spam too hard though, because you can talk to him again. You can just fall down here. And now jump off the side of this. It's faster than walking down. And then just walk into this room with the mask. And now we have to wait for this whole cutscene to play out. While that's happening, I'm going to kind of explain what's going to happen next. So what we're going to want to do next is we're going to walk out and we're going to take two deaths. So I'll show you where these two deaths are. And the reason why we're doing that is so we can unlock the rest and make this whole speed run a lot faster. So we're gonna walk over here and we're gonna take our first death by jumping off this uh, cliff here, or this side uh, of that uh, hill or whatever, whatever you call it. And it, we're gonna die. And now we kind of wait here and that happens. And then we're gonna take our second death by jumping into the spire here and waiting for ourselves to burn to death and wait for that animation to sort of play out as well and this whole kind of cutscene-ish thing to play through. And now comes a point in the run. So you're gonna walk over here and rest. Now this point in the run, you can pause your timer while you're resting and we sort of have to wait. So, the next section is we're gonna be flying to the Ash Twin to recover the Warp Core. So there's a few different times you can wake up that I've seen in runs. For a beginner, because this is a beginner tutorial, for a beginner, I would suggest waking up at 6.45 because it, it's 
it's not much harder than the other wake up times I've seen. And it's it's just much faster. And it's, you know, you just learn this one trick that I'll show you and then it's pretty much easy. The other time that you could do that's more advanced than 645 is 653 and it's just the leeway between times. So we're gonna, so if you wake up like a second or two before or after, that is fine as well. You'll get pretty much similar results to what you see in the video. Uh, and it won't impact uh, the run too much here. So we're gonna head in, we're gonna grab our suit, and we're gonna go kind of out to the left. And Battle Rock should be just above us here. And now we're gonna target the Ash Twin. And as soon as we leave uh, the gravity uh, zone, the gravity zone, we're gonna go towards the Ash Twin and just kind of make this sort of equal. And once you get to about 700 meters a second, you're gonna wanna start holding space and breaking. And you're gonna kind of want to aim for the top and just kind of over it. And then as soon as you get around a little bit, you can switch to just holding W and like control and shift to go up and down. So we're gonna come in here, park ourselves forcefully. Now, when you do this section here, as we head to this teleport pad, don't jump uh, because that can be bad. Anyways, now we're gonna do a strat where we just kind of jump over here and that's gonna skip a bunch of walking. And now kind of flick this forward so gravity pulls it and moves it a little bit. As much as possible. So now we're gonna grab the warp core. So now that we have the warp core, if you die, your run is most likely dead. Well, it is, unless it's your first run. But yeah, I got a little turn around there. So any damage that you see on your ship is fine as long as it's not like a, uh, as long as it's not like a booster. So kind of use uh, shift. That seems to be the best way to get out of there. And target bramble. Now bramble should be up here every time if you do it right you get consistent. So now we're gonna be doing what sort of might be a hard strat for some people. And this is just going full throttle at Bramble. And the reason why we're doing that is because it saves time and Bramble slows you down anyways. So there's no point in not going at it super fast. So as we kinda, we're gonna wanna kinda aim for the center here. And as we do that, as soon as we do that, go through, kind of aim left and just hold like uh, shift and W. And that will kind of help you get oriented here. And now we're gonna head in here. This is the second Bramble Pod. And just kind of hold W until those two dudes get spooked and nothing else. Because if they hear you any more than that, they will attack you and the run's dead. So what you can do in that time though, is set up for the vessel. So what I like to do is I like to set the white ball right here to the right, pretty much like straight line. And as a beginner runner, I would just say, wait till you see this four up here and then start going. And you go up and to the left a little bit, just like this. And you kind of fly through here. And now you go into this, I guess like bramble seed-ish area. And so now we're at the vessel here and you can kind of just go towards it. And then it's kind of like park here. And now we'll go through here. So we're just going to kind of do the next part of this, a little bit of this next part normally here. So just kind of fly up and you can kind of smack into the pillar, to slow you down. And we insert the warp core. And now we got to bring this up. So you got to remember this. The code is the same every time for the coordinates. So it's this ball. You go that one, that one, and that one and make kind of like an L. Then I like to call this one the pretzel. You make kind of like this pretzel shape here. And then you do like the N. Or it's like a Z actually, it's like a sideways Z. You make that shape. And now you put this in here. So there's two strats you can do. There's the advanced strap called Vessel Clip, where you kind of go through this door here before it actually loads in when we warp. Or you can do the, the uh, sort of beginner strap. I'm gonna show off the beginner strap this video. And I will leave a link or something to like, a maybe I'll make like a vessel tutorial or something, or I'll leave a link to it in the description. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move this ball over here and go through here. Now, why did I want you to move your scout or the button for your scout instead of holding? Well, we're going to be doing something called scout boosting. So every time you shoot a scout, you get sort of... A little bit of uh, a boost, as you can see here. I'm kind of moving back, and I'm not touching any of my keys. 
So if you combine that with like holding down jump and then the uh, this, if you can kind of go like and shoot down at the ground, this will give you extra height. And now you can do it sort of more. And so you're just gonna kind of keep doing this all the way around until you get down to the uh, to the kind of teleport area, which is down here. So I will kind of just fast forward this part, I guess. Yeah, I'll fast forward this part and then I'll come back when we're uh, over there. But yeah, you just kind of actually want to keep doing this. Maybe we won't fast forward it. But yeah, just keep holding down and moving in just the forward direction. And this is so much faster uh, if you just kind of compare it to walking normally or just even holding down the, uh, the boost normally. And we're here already. I don't need to fast forward it. No. So, oh, what's that on the rock? Uh, there's two sort of strats you can do here. There's a strat where you use a scout boost to kind of get gravity pulled, or you can just walk up. So we can try the scout boost right here. You just kind of scalp boost and jump. And so as you're coming through here, make sure to hold down control because you can use the boost down and it's so much faster than, well, it's not so much faster, but it's definitely faster than normally. You can just retreat the scout and put it away. So now we're in this part and you just kind of come up here. Oh, use your boost to fly up here. And observe. So now we kind of wait here. So now we kind of boost down, and you're going to want to aim for these like dots, which are the galaxies. And now we're in. This part with the trees, as I like to call it. The part with the trees. So, what we're now going to do is we're going to find trees like these three right here. Perfect. And so just kind of memorize where they are. So we're going to need them in a second. And now we just kind of wait. And, yeah. So we're just going to wait in this kind of uh, auto-scroller-ish thing. I guess you could call it an auto-scroller. Uh, and we're just kind of waiting for all these galaxies to disappear. So uh, just at this point, you can pull out your signal scope, which you're gonna need for the next part. Uh, and if you don't wanna do that, it's with Y. And just kind of keep memorizing the positions of these trees. Get a little turn around here. So we're gonna need them in a minute. So turn off your light and then kind of keep uh, turning it back on and wait till this tree becomes one of these. And now turn to the other trees where they were because they also just became those purple things. And now we'll fly to the unknown signal. So we're gonna do that, I'm a little slow here. And now you just keep spamming your flashlight until it becomes the campfire like that. And then spam like left and right, just move your camera left and right. So Esker spawns and you talk to him once. And now turn towards the the banjo, uh, and we're gonna fly to it. So just like the campfire, it sort of goes away with the spamming flashlight. So we can grab the banjo here. So now in this next section, we're gonna be grabbing the rest of the instruments, and there's a few different uh, routes. We're gonna go through the one I use in runs. And so first I'm gonna set up the, uh, like the clarin clarinet thing or whatever it is, with uh, Asker here to the left, and we go up. And Gabra's instrument is going to be right here. And it's just fly up and grab it, whatever that instrument is. And so next, in my runs, I like to go do Chert's drums next. Uh, I like to go grab his drums. So we're going to go over here and gather them. And the last thing I like to do is Field Spear's harmonica. So we will also go grab that. And now I think doing Field Spirit's harmonica is faster and then going like across. But this is what I do in runs and what I feel confident with. I just like grabbing the clarinet first, so yeah. 
so now we're gonna talk to Chert and the rest of the gang and tell them that it is time to start playing. And talk to Ryback finally. And now we're gonna fly up, up top this like warp as it starts to spawn in. And we just kinda wait and hold down. Here, we're close to the end of the run. Closer to the end of the run here. So we're gonna fall through here, and now you're pretty much on an auto scroll here. Time is coming up. But yeah, so this you can move, so you can just kind of hold W here, kind of get closer. I mean, you could scout boost. I don't know how it moves. It's even faster. I don't think it is, but. So time is coming up whenever uh, we hear a big explosion. And we wait for it. Time. So now you stop your timer and you've just completed your first Outer Wilds any percent run. Yeah, so thank you all for watching again if you have any questions about this run want to learn more about it or just get involved in the community make sure to join the outer wild speedrunning discord it's down in the description that's pretty much it thank you all for watching bye